Okay, I got five o'clock. I'll go ahead and call the Hartford City Council to order for its uh, January meeting, um, January 27, 2022. Uh, we'll have an invocation. David, would you ask a blessing on the meeting? Father God, we just want to thank you for the night. We thank you for the Hartford and the board members here, Lord, at the Hartford. And Lord, we just give you the honor and the praise. We ask you to touch this meeting that we will get an understanding to help the people in Hartford and that Hartford may grow, Lord, like never before. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I see no visitors, so uh, we'll take a look at the minutes of our previous meeting. If you'll take a gander at those. Uh, we had a special call meeting. December 17th, and we don't have the minutes for our, oh, that is our special meeting, right? Yeah, that's our December meeting. Thank you, Gander Toes. I'll entertain a motion to uh, accept those. I make a motion to accept them. All right, is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? All right, motion carried. Uh, we'll have a Report from our illustrious city attorney. Well, I didn't get a copy of the agenda. I've been tied up, but I I just got off the phone right before I came up uh, with Stacy Milton with Audubon, and Lisa had forwarded me a contract and vendor agreement. They have federal funds that is going to allow them to help uh, low-income homes uh, offset high water and wastewater bills that might be owed to the city, and. To do so, they have two parts of that. It's called a crisis payment and a subsidy payment. And a crisis payment, they can give a household up to $800. So if they if they can't pay a water bill one month, they can apply, and it'll cover all late fees, disconnect, reconnect fees, everything, and they can apply for it as many times as they want to get up to $800, okay? Then they have a subsidy payment that you can apply for one time, and I think it's up to about $200 per account. But that subsidy that they could pay for it and it would act as a credit on the account and there were some questions that i had based upon what she had sent that she and i kind of walked through and just to kind of get a little bit is what it would do is if somebody came in and they were facing either a disconnect or they had been disconnected their water was a sand and they don't have the money to to resubmit uh, to reconnect it we can give them the information or tell them the web address where they can go online and fill out this application once they fill out that application Audubon area would contact the city and said, hey, we've got an approved uh, application here. We're going to send you funds. That Once we get that certification that they're approved this applicant, we have to mark them for do not disconnect, even though funds could take four to six weeks to be here. Okay? However, she says once you're marked, you're going to get them. It's just got to go through a federal and then a state clearinghouse and everything to get it. And, but I asked, I said, what happens if in, before we get that payment for that month, the next month rolls in and they have a bill that they can't pay? She goes, that doesn't matter. That's a separate one. Then you could disconnect if they didn't pay that one by the due date. But you can't disconnect for the prior month because we've already approved payment if they tell you. And they'll tell you if it's going to cover the whole bill or if it's a partial and they'll have to make up the difference. Uh, there was a few things in there that I'd asked about. One of, the real, one of the rules of the program is that if a landlord knows that a tenant is receiving this credit and the subsidized payment for water bills, they can't increase rent. It has that in the vendor agreement. I explained, you know, there's no way the city can be liable and or enforce that against landlords. She says they would not ever anticipate enforcing that from a city standpoint. They would just ask for the landlord's name so that they could, they could discuss the issue with them. Uh, I asked a little bit because our water bill is a combination. It's water, wastewater, and trash. I think are those are the only three things that I think we, we include on ours. She well, goes, well, do you... Tax. Well, yeah. She goes, do you all break it out? I said, I believe there's a line item on the initial water bill. She goes, well, what about the disconnect notice? And I'm like, the water bill says due. If not paid by, like, I think the 24th, you're automatically disconnected. There's no separate thing. And she goes, what happens if they pay all of the water but they don't pay the trash? And I said, it's still disconnected. So she said that we could work with her on that because technically it's only for water and wastewater, but if there's no real way for us to break it out and, and know who gets disconnected for this and not that, which we don't really because our guys on the truck don't have access to that system, 
she said that she could work with the city to make sure the whole thing gets paid so that somebody doesn't go on a disconnect list. So we would just have to work with her. So, so they're going to pay the whole bill? Up to $800. And if we have somebody with over $800 and, and, and everything, we need to look at some issues. But that's what she said. It's a crisis payment. And so, if, for example, if somebody's got a $200 bill this month and it's after disconnect and reconnect and everything, it's $275, they apply for that crisis payment. Then the next month, if they have trouble with that one, they can apply again and they can get up to $800 from that crisis amount. And then that subsidy is a one-time thing. And they usually they would coincide for that first time. They would, uh, they would apply that subsidy, which is like a two, up to $200, and you would credit that account and bill against it for the next month. It's kind of to help people get back on their feet. What happens after it gets 800 is zero? It's, it's out. Like, you're only allowed up to $800. But it's a win-win. You know, the, the customer gets to have access to water. The city gets the bills paid, so we're paying for the services that we're providing. And, you know, all we have to do is abide by the program requirements. And she gave me her email and personal cell number in case the city has any questions or, or the water clerk setting it up. Um, you know, I, I don't really see any reason to to maybe not jump in based on what I'm hearing. So. Okay, well, let's just say that right now. We'll entertain a motion if you want the city to enter into this contract with Altman Area to uh, provide this, those uh, opportunity for people to get their bills paid through them or up to those limits if you want to do that or not you know that would be the motion it's I think we should I make a motion that we should go along with Alderman area and okay. at least we know we get some money all right any discussion regarding Stacy said Stacy yeah she said it any discussion? We've already had some customers over here already that's done this, haven't we? We, there, and we've they've got the water off. because that's federal money. They got several different programs, but the two programs that she's talking about, we've got one uh, that's dated uh, January the 14th. Haven't we haven't seen anything from them on that? But they call that a pledge. Um, I explained the reason that we do disconnect water the way that we do is because it cuts off the losses right. of continuing to run the bill up because by the time that she said that that's going to now go on to Frankfurt, it'll be another three four weeks. That, that's one thing we had discussed and that's why I made sure to ask if for some reason the next <coughs> bill comes due before the first payment is, you know, if they don't pay that on time, can we disconnect? And she said yes because, but she says that really shouldn't happen because if they apply for that crisis to catch up and reconnect their water from the first one, they'll also apply for that subsidy, which they would end, end up giving that up to those $200 to the account, which would act as a credit. So next month you can bill against that. So it should keep them either a very low balance that's owed the next month or cover the next bill just to make sure it all stays on. So. Sounds like a good deal for a lot of people. It can, yeah. How do we get the word out quickly? Or well, uh, the ones that are delinquent, you know, we're, we're in contact with them about shutting their water off. But, uh, when we do shut it off, they contact us, yeah. and we can tell they, them. That they, and they have a local office, and we have their phone number. And she said that their website, audubon-area.com, if you go on there and say on the request assistance tab on their website, they can fill out that form there. And, and get put in the system and somebody will contact them to get them put up. Well, a resident put. reached out to me the other day and said that he he, he done that but he still got shut off. They said he was going to send the city $300. And, and we did. We did shut him off because we still like haven't received payment. past month? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. But... There you go. But, but then, like, on um, number three on this agreement, it says that we will... Any assistant recipient shall be treated the same as any household that didn't receive this assistance. We treated him like everybody else. That would be the only thing is once you receive the notice from see mm -hmm. right now the city's not enrolled in the program as a primary vendor. Okay, they may have they may have applied for some separate own, thing. Right, so there was no notification ever sent to the city. Once the city has signed up as a vendor, they will give the notification to the city, and at that point, the city has to put that residence on the no no shut off list. And whenever those funds do come in, he, he will have a credit. Right. 
the only thing they have to be careful of is at the very end when they reach their eight hundred dollars yeah. is they could have a four hundred dollar well and, and that's and that's the issue too is Audubon keeps up with all that the city wouldn't have to do that the city would basically just say hey they owe this much right and Audubon would say okay here's how much that we're going to approve for that and and as for the individual that contacted you I imagine it's because without the city being as a vendor there was no right. notice and there was no way to, to not do it right this cost the city anything to be in this program no other than it just takes four to six weeks to get a check so they're not getting one. Right. Because we originally right. signed up with them, and it was supposed they told us that it would be an ACH program, and they uh, asked for our banking ACH information. I gave it to them, and this is when COVID first came out, and we've received two that way since that time frame. That's the only money that we've, we've received two through ACH. Then they told me that I had signed a contract, and I said, no, we haven't signed any contract. Then that's when I she's supported and, and i think that's what this is and, and this actually would get the city set up as a vendor which will greatly increase communication i think at that point too and getting it taken care of so any more discussion all in favor are up with his hand okay it was Aye. unanimous all right thank you anything else not right now Okay, uh, take a look at the financials and let's see if you have any questions about anything there. What are these charges, payments we've made to uh, the engineer on the park thing? Uh, just one in it. I think There's we just two paid of them. Uh, one for $2,800 one for 8200 or even time to find them. Yeah, I've got them in a folder. What we've got, the depends on if you're talking about the booster pumps at the country club and the park, both of those that, that did come out of the ARPA funds. Here's one for 2360 <clears throat> Five hundred. We pay those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we getting for it? Well, we've we've got the plans. Um, they've uh, given us um, plans and a cost estimate for you know for the park. I've got copies now. We'll we'll look at them. Well, they've gone a little farther since we've had discussions that oh, okay. they've put it in. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you these right now. Yeah. I'm just going to pass these out during the new business portion, but I'll go ahead and give them to you now since the question came up about the finances. <coughs> Uh, what you've got here is uh, the diagram of a uh, proposed plan. Uh, it's been divided up into three different phases. The first phase is surrounded by the red line. The second phase is surrounded by the blue line. And the third phase is the uh, yellow line. And then you've got a cost uh, estimate for the various items in the park. Did 
Didn't you talk to somebody that would do some of the dirt work? Well, they volunteered, but uh, yeah, I don't know how that would work with a contractor to try to be doing things, and you've got somebody else that's in there. I've talked to the engineer about that. I told him, you know, what we had to offer. Um, he said not knowing the individual, not knowing the expertise or anything like that, it, um, we don't know how much we'd be saving. Uh, might be, create more problems by having him come in with a contractor uh, set up to do some of some of the work part of the work and then him ready to do some of the work and so he didn't think it was a very good idea. A lot of, a lot of money to do what now? A lot of money to move some dirt around. Well <coughs> there's a lot of a lot of great work out there that, uh, for drainage uh, to, to do these different did you not have enough to go around to those? I thought we copied all seven of them. Can we just here, here, take this one. I can always. I've got it on email. Okay. Sure. You gave me mine back and lost yours. I don't know what to tell you. Right now, let's just go back to the finances. If you've got any questions about the finances, we need to either okay them or not. The financial reports. Anybody have any questions about any of the finances? No, I make a motion we accept the finances. Okay. Second. All right, second. David. Any discussion? All in favor? All right, Aye. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, um, going down our agenda, the next uh, item is uh, old business. If we have anything old business that you want to bring up, I know you, you mentioned last time about raises or anything like that. Do you want to bring that up again? Yes, sir. Yeah. At least go up to hundred dollars on that. Do what now? We at least could go up to hundred dollars on that. What we on the for the board members? Up to a hundred more? Yeah. Or okay. Yeah. Okay. More. Yeah. yeah, you just said a hundred. I was well, thinking you're already getting hundred and fifty, so <laughs> yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, don't cut us fifty. Oh, I didn't cut. Me. <laughs> but, uh, Thank you. Uh, what is for? This Mike. is for the uh, board members. For council members. Council members. Be the next election. Okay, it would be, it'd be in the next election. It has to. It can't take effect with the current. In fact. Yeah. It, uh, is it a two-year waiting period? I think actually. How do we need to raise? It can be with the next election. How do we need to raise? It's got to be done in May. He just feels like. Why do we need to raise? I mean, us is not doing nothing. It don't make no difference. But us is doing something. I think we could use a little raise, don't you? <laughs> You're doing something, right? Well, I am, but I mean, well, you know, uh, I don't I'll think I need a raise for. Well, I mean, the other councilmen <clears throat> and, and magistrates in other cities, and let me make a statement here. Morganfield is even getting insurance for the board members. And Morganfield ain't even big as us. <laughs> then we got um, another little town. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I talked to them. <laughs> and they getting 250 and, I mean, what would it hurt us getting 250 So... I'd rather give our employees a raise than us. Mm -hmm. And 
be good for the people. One vote. <laughs> Make a motion. And see if you get a second, if you get a second, then we'll discuss. And if we, after we discuss, we'll vote. Okay? A motion. Make a motion $100. for a hundred dollar increase. Okay. I'll second. All right, there's a second. Now, discussion. Who seconded it? Hmm? Who seconded Tony did. Any discussion? Like I said, the only thing I think is we ought to give our employees a raise before we, any of us even think of that. You understand the motion, Stacia? Yes, I do. Okay. If there's no more discussion, we'll vote on it. All in favor of uh, increasing the city council's pay $100 a month, uh, uplifted hand? Aye. Okay. All opposed? Okay. Uh, motion carried four to two. All right. Uh, going on to new business. Uh, you've got the uh, Ellis Park update. Um, is there any action that you want to take on it or anything? Uh, this is what we've done so far for yeah. For the money we pay them. Yeah. Engineers are high. Damn high. Uh, I would hate to, I would hate to sit down, down and try to figure out how much each one of those things is going to cost to put in. <coughs> I'm going to make I one I think comment. you use huh? the swag method. I'll make one comment, though. you got a whole lot of courts and ideas for basketball and pickleball and tennis over here and playground and nowhere to park. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's contingent upon this becoming a parking lot here. You've got parking lot there. Uh, in the original plans, there was a parking lot That's right here. That's what I thought. <laughs> but you've got this over here, too. We always got that possibility of a, there. You know, it depends on how things proceed. When do they start to work on it or what? Do what now? When are they going to start to work on the dirt? Oh, I don't think they'll start on it until we've got some money that we can afford to take the bids, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if you do it in that order there, phase one, phase two, and phase three, you know, you're talking what, $700,000 for just phase one. <coughs> What's the question, George? Mm -hmm. What's the question before? Did you, are you getting approval for the phase? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just, throwing it out there for discussion if anybody wants to take action on it, you know. Do we not think this is worthy of bids? I mean, for this amount of money? Well, you know, I think we need to be in a little better financial shape before we, I mean, we don't even own all the property out here yet. Well, I know. We've been digging around with it for how long? Well, I've been in contact with them here, I gave them a proposal, asked for a counter proposal, and they're just kind of slow walking. Have it. they paid the taxes? Do. Huh? Do what? Have they paid the taxes? Well, yeah, they pay taxes every year. Okay. I thought there was a big... That's a different area. Hmm? That's a different one. The one who's... He and I have been working on this other. Well, where is it? I've got, the, for the first batch, I've got two more properties to finish the title on, and then we're filing. Which one's behind on the taxes? I don't know that that's a discussion on litigation that you want to, but... Well, okay.
of June is this the best time for me to bring up my church lot? Well, if you can. See, we can. My church is, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, and I am trying to buy me a house, <laughs> too. <laughs> but, uh, I didn't know, and that would be a good park in place over there, because y'all would have all of it then, except for that one spot, you know. What, have you... Have you and Justin got together yet? Uh, we had some title things that popped up that I had to get some information from David about, and I was going to kind of talk to you about okay. um, regarding. So. Yeah, if you want to bring it up, I mean, that would be a time of, you know, as good as any. I'd say let's bring it up and see what we can do and where we can. Meet in the middle. Okay. <laughs> you know I'm easy going. <laughs> okay. We probably need to go into closed session to discuss acquisition of property, so we'll put that off to the last, all right? Yes, sir. All right. If there's no action anybody wants to take on it right now, then we'll go on to the next item of business. But it's out there mostly for information for you to see what kind of... Uh, cost estimate we're looking at. From one entity. Do I? From one entity. One entity. Um, let's see. I'd like to recommend Dean Minton to serve on the Regional Wastewater Board to represent Hartford. We're missing one since... Uh, John had to get off, and this uh, Dean knows as much about our relationship with the wastewater boards as anybody does. So I'm I'm recommending that we uh, elect him to serve as our representative on the, on that board. Uh, I make a motion. We accept okay. Dean Minton. Second. Second. All right. Second. Anybody all in favor? <coughs> I'll start to ask the discussion, but. All right. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> we must be long distance, I guess. We didn't All right. Anyway. Yeah. Um let's see the the uh water department has asked me to present to you a proposal to uh purchase a listening device to pinpoint leaks. We've got a system that we purchased uh, two or three, four years ago that we can we can tell where a leak is between meters. We just can't pinpoint. So we have to call Dale Harris from the uh, from rural water over in Bone Green to come over when he's available and he's got a this listening device that he can pinpoint where a leak is if you notice over over by the christian church the fire plug there um we've had a leak there and there's numbers that are increasing and decreasing to pinpoint the actual location of well he he listens to it and he can actually uh, determine exactly where the leak is. We had the situation down here, Mulberry and, and uh, West Fredica. We had a leak there at that intersection. We ended up digging up a pretty good sized place and then uh, asked him to come in and he listened and it was on down even further in the intersection. So we would have had to you know, the way we've got it right now, we can tell general location for it, but we can't be extremely accurate and uh, pinpoint it. And so this device uh, includes uh, a sensing unit. Uh, it's got headphones, uh, a ground mic attachment, a probe bar. Um, it's got... Uh, 
an iPad mini that comes with it. Um, anyway, the total cost is uh, $3,735.95. And so I'm pretty, you trained how to use it? And well, they already know from watching Dell. I mean, it's uh, it's not that it's not that complicated. Um, I, I've I've seen him use it, but I've uh, as far as it's got a a sensing on the end of a a rod. It's got a sending unit. It's got a cable that goes up to headphones, and you can tell by it's like a Geiger counter, I guess. The, the the volume increases. It's got a readout on the iPad, actual number readout increasing and decreasing. So when you get to the largest number, that's where your leak is, you know. So you you're not digging up twenty yards of street, to to you know, to try to chase a leak down. It, it uh, it's tougher than it looks like and. To pinpoint it, and this mm -hmm. thing would would so help. When, How much? A couple of months. I have questions. A couple of months ago, when we hired the people to identify the twenty some leaks, however many leaks that we have around our heart, was yes. that not effective? Uh, Did that not work enough, and now we need this. Well, they pinpointed uh, all the leaks that we had at that time, but we can't ask them to keep coming in. You know, when new leaks happen. Um, have, we, have we fixed all the leaks? We've got, uh, I think we've got nine leaks right now that uh, we've got pinpointed, or we've got located, but we've got to pinpoint the actual location uh, just to cut down on. But uh, they, they showed us leaks that uh, were down on Barn Street. There's a leak down there, a big leak. But it's uh, the line they believe is about 15 feet deep, and we don't have equipment that can go that deep. So we'll have to get uh, the the company's offered to come back and help us with that particular lake. Uh, but we'd have to get uh, Luttrell's or somebody else with bigger equipment to come in, like we did over on Clay Street. Okay. How much was this machine? Three thousand. Seven hundred and thirty five dollars and ninety five cents. You know, they're working to try to stop the leaks as best they can, you know, but they're the time that they've got available to do it, they need to be able to do it you know, as quickly as possible and not spend all day or half a day digging up the seat. Well, I think I'd like to make a motion we we'll go ahead and get it, but at the same time, I want to ask if they ever pass any of these dollars coming out of Washington, won't there be some that we could apply for to completely redo our water system? Our, uh, water, our water pipes, at least. I know what you're saying. <clears throat> um, I talked to Blaine Luttrell the other day about replacing water lines. And to be honest, he just kind of laughed. It's just such a big, costly task. He said, uh, you'd have every street town oh. dug up you'd have every yard or where they cross and things like that you'd have dug up that's true uh, you're talking millions I know three or four at least I, I don't think he would recommend doing it but that's you can talk to him. You can talk to him and see what he. What we need to stop and think of all the money that we have spent fixing leaks and doing this, and going back to the same spot time after time after time yeah. after time. And if the money were to become available, why wouldn't we go for it? I mean, I, see, I don't understand. We can keep buying these monitors and we can do all this stuff. We're going to have leaks in the future regardless. Right. Somebody's going to forget to put the glue around it or something. But if 
I mean, I think we ought to look further than just beyond the end of our nose if we could possibly ever come up with any kind of money okay. from federal grants. I'll talk to, I'll talk to uh, Joe Bailey. He's an engineer with water management and uh, he can give me some kind of an idea about cost and, and available funds. I think, you know, as well as I do, some of these houses are still sitting there with Gavin as pipes in them. And have probably been there since you and I were born, George. Yeah. I'll talk to John. We're not working on leaks inside the houses. No, but, but we can at least get the water to them. Good. If we can keep uh, contractors off of our lines, we'd be all right. We well, had a set up a, a contractor ripped a line loose over on Clay Street, and water was shooting out of over the house. And it was that high. And Did he call to see where the lines were or anything? Did it cost one? Did he call Bud or whoever it is? Yeah, he just failed to check with the uh, city. With the city. Fine. <laughs> we did. We sent him a bill. I would send you more than a bill. I'd make some money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Until you, start, you know, it's like everything else, George. Until you start dipping into their pockets. Right. They're not going to pay you. Well, this took, this took a big chunk out of his pay on that job, so. We we don't have a map of where every line is. We got lines that we probably don't know where they are. Yeah, Grant gives us a map, yeah. but it's just where we tell them the lines are, you know. Uh, I don't think they even know. There's two or three lines going up Clay Street, you know, that are different sizes. Uh, it's not uncommon. Uh, it's, huh? it's not uncommon in old, tiny towns. So no. Yeah. No, I mean, it, they've made do with whatever they needed to do to keep it going. But anyway. I'll talk to Joe and see what we can. Like I said, I'll make the motion we buy this thing. I'll okay. Say. All right. Any more discussion? All in favor? Okay. Money comes out of? Your pocket. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> mayor retirement fund. Yeah. <laughs> Occupation tax. Is that all right with you? I'm going to ask you something, too. Uh, we've we've already agreed to replace the pump on on uh, Country Club, and we were going to take the money out of ARPA. I'm going to ask: Is it all right for you, uh, to you, with you? I'll get the right preposition in a minute. <laughs> if we change from ARPA funds to occupational tax, since it is infrastructure that we're doing this with, um, I'd like to. Try to hold on to as much SARPA funds as we possibly can. What are we going to do with them? With that? No, with the ARPA funds. We're oh, just well, I'm hoping to redo the, the water tank with it. I met with the engineers today, and we're ready to bid that project if, you know, in the next month or so. You have already agreed. I mean, the council's already agreed to, to work on the tank. Um, I know. I, I just think we agreed on it about a year and a half ago. Do what now? My, was this past the, the last election, or was this the different council that voted on that tank, or what? This council's voted. Uh, this council voted on that tank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to see the minutes on that. Okay. It was back uh, about a year ago or so. So the idea is to reduce the current tank. Do what now? So is the idea to use that money to reduce the current tank? Yes. What if there's ever expansion? What if we ever need it again? We're going to have a tank that we keep going back and it's big, then it's small, and then we no. get that again? The bottom half of that tank is, is non-functional. Okay? It's full of water, but it's... Uh, 
It's of no use to us. And it creates problems for us. We have to mix the old water. You have to mix the old water with the new water that you process. You've got byproducts. You've got loss of chlorine. We have to do more flushing in our lines, wasting water, because of that tank. The tank, uh, the engineer is has lowered the volume of that is lowering the volume of that tank to uh, 400,000 gallons. And with the small tank, we've got enough for expansion uh, to accommodate uh, hotel, uh, truck stop, whatever uh, we uh, add in the future. What was the rationale to make it that big anyway? And now we're, why are we having the back? Well, back when, they, back when they built it, we'd had a fire here in town that uh, just depleted what storage we had and they were having to run the, the tank and so uh, they were going to build a new uh, tank and they had a million dollars available to them and so they said let's just build a million gallon tank with it that's what what it cost but nobody bothered to look at the engineering on it uh, to determine that when it got down to a certain point, it wasn't generating enough pressure for uh, the outer part of the city especially. That's why we're, we've got a pump over on Country Club Lane because we can't, there's no pressure over our people can't, don't have enough water to rinse the soap out of their hair in the shower. Um, it reached the airport, but there was never any water in the uh, upper floor of the airport. They had to uh, have five gallon buckets of water just to uh, use to flush a commode. So it, it's just uh, the bottom part of it is troublesome and of no use to us, the water that we've got stored there. I'm just going by the recommendation of what the water department and the engineers have said that we need to do to that tank to make it more useful for us. What does Joe Bailey say about it? He's all right with it. I talked to him today and he said he didn't think it'd be a good idea. Do what now? I talked to him today and he said he didn't think it'd be a good idea to do it. Well, I've, I've talked with him before. He didn't understand the full... And then, to my knowledge, with the discussion that you had today with this other engineer, they said that they would have to repaint the insides and outs. Is that correct? No. He didn't say that? They'll reseal the outside. Okay. It costs you roughly, will be less than $9,000 to reseal it. I mean, they'll, when they do the welding on the inside, it'll create some burn spots on the outside, and they'll reseal it with a, a white silicone that uh, will cover up and actually be a better coating than the paint we've got on it. Because I, I know that um, we've done some repairs, what, three years ago maybe? And we spent $200,000 or more? Well, they refurbished the whole tank. They repainted. And then they put the mixer and everything put in. Put the mixer in. And the mixers, mixer that we've got, I'm sure some engineers said it was good. Some other engineer will say it's not good. You know, they won't have a, a type of mixer in the new tank. Does this other engineer, does he have a price on what um, he's thinking? I know metal and everything's high. He said that uh, our ARPA funds that we've, I've told him that we've got is, is sufficient to take care of, of that. Well, of course it would in his eyes. He's a salesman. Did we get well, any other quotes from any he's, other engineers? He's, I mean, he's going to have to bid it out. It'll be contractors who'll determine the price, and we'll just have to say whether we agree to it or not. I mean, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. We just go on with doing what we're doing and uh, pay the engineer for his work so far. And Well, if there's a motion already in the minutes, then we'll have to reflect on that motion. Because you said it was in there, so. What? Which engineering firm? 
Do what? Which now? engineering firm is the one who submitted the proposal? This, uh, it's uh, Earl Coffey. He said. Okay. Well, there was one that we saw that was a water management thing. We weren't sure what project it was for. But. I don't see one. Do what? I don't see one. Not for Earl Coffey. Uh, no, I know we've, we've done it. Uh, I wouldn't have gone this far without it. Uh, Are you sure it wasn't a prior? Hmm. You sure it wasn't a prior council? It might have been. I'm just trying to think. Let's see, this one's only been in for a year. Yeah, it's probably going back farther than that. Before, before June 2019? Huh? Before June 2019? Yeah, I think so. Okay. How's that mixture work? Is something just bends around? Or oh. Aerator? No, it's, it's down the bottom. And the way they described it, it shoots out jets of water. Like an aerator, seeing a bomb. It doesn't put the air in there because that ruins no, your chlorine I mean, if you get air in there. So it just. Work on that purpose where it shoots water up. Do what now? Work on the same purpose as the aerator, but yeah. shoot water up from the bottom. To mix yeah, but it, it's the just. It just uh, periodically jets out water, and that's supposed to do some stirring, but it, it, it's not a good process. What they do it all the time or just every now and then? No, it's plugged in. It does works all the time. I think it makes me good enough. Well, what the, what will what they'll do with uh, with this new system? If we decide to go with redoing the tank, then there'll be uh, in the inlet. It'll have uh, like three jets there, and of course. It's a. Uh, it's where it fills up too. It fills up through these, so it's constantly uh, moving that. It's a much smaller area. It's only instead of being a hundred feet tall, it's only thirty-four feet, thirty-eight feet tall, something like that. So it, you get better water circulation than trying to move water in a hundred-foot tower. I went back to January 2018, and I don't see it. Uh, it must be back before then, then. Oh, that's in another book. Huh? That's in another book. This book starts January 2018. Okay. You want to give her? Yeah, uh, we'll just have to look for it. You know, if you want to put it on hold, that's fine. If you want to discontinue it, that's fine. We'll just pay the engineer for work he's done, so... Have there been any other proposals to fix the issues? Well, I don't know how you'd fix it, you know, if other than what what he's come up with. Do you want to table it, George, and let her see if she can find in the minutes, and that way she might, because don't you save with that meeting, don't you save some of the proposals with it sometimes, like the paperwork that's presented? That might help rejog or, or something, especially if it's for the prior council. I'm just trying to help. Sorry. Let's, let's see. I'm trying to think how far back. Did he submit a written proposal? We may have a pr we may have had an motion for engineering on the tank, but you're saying a motion on actually fixing the tank. Yeah, I think it was a motion to fix the tank, but that's okay. Can't remember you know, if you want to make we've a motion. We've been talking about it a long time. Do what? We've been talking about it a long time. It seems like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know the discussion's been there. I just can't remember a specific meeting. I don't. I don't know. I, I barely remember what I ate for dinner last night. So. I was thinking we just had a motion for an engineer to come in and see what it would take to fix it. Do what now? I thought it was just had a motion for an engineer to come in and see what it would cost us to fix it. Okay, that, that was the extent of it? I'm not 100% okay. sure, but I'm thinking that. I mean, well, I'm, it may be a council before this one, you know. Yeah. I don't remember. 
but if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Just make motion. We'll stop and stop in our track. And so we just table it for now and see if she can find anything. Well, we the engineer was here today. Was he's uh, setting up uh, a timetable for us to have uh, a bid put in in the paper, take bids, and pre-bid meeting and. So I can just call him and tell him to hold off on that till after our next council meeting. Does that make any difference to me? If you don't decide what you want to do, tell me. Hold off to next month then. Okay. And see if we can't find where we've yeah. got the, in the where we got it uh, in the minutes we agreed to do it or yeah okay I'll call him same me water be a do what same me like there be a cheaper easier way to mix that water well well it wasn't the water department pouring out about 500 thousand gallon a day or Right now, we're using about that. Are you pouring it out or using that much? They're producing that much. Oh, okay. Well, I thought there was a big deal about them having to just pour out some water. Well, we're because having to. Because to empty the bottom half of that tank. When they were flushing Surely the lines. Surely I didn't dream no, that No, they were, they were flushing the lines repeatedly there for a good long while because we had a they had the chemical buildup. Every were, time before we test, every before we test every quarter for about a week, we have to flush lines for a couple of days. You got to to get the well, byproducts know. out. I know. So we can pass she, tests. There She's, is some, somebody told me sometime that on a daily basis they were dumping water out on the ground or down in the river or wherever they dump it. That was four or five years ago. They were flushing several times a day. If you remember, the the red stuff. What, what was that? That that gets in the water. What, you remember what I, remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, and they were flushing lines yeah. because they were having to get some chemical or something out. I think. I know what you're talking about, but that's been quite a while. I think. Years ago, they used to flush them tanks on Fredericton Street every day because it run down in ditches there. But I remember, you're not crazy, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, play it. <laughs> well, yeah, I am. Back to the meeting. Mm -hmm. I'll take, I'll make the motion that we transfer, transfer the funds from the ARPA over to the occupational tax. That was the initial question right there, wasn't it? Right. No. I yeah, want, it was for the pump. I want to fi country. finance the pump. Yeah. I want to just change the wording from yeah. ARPA to... Do you need a motion on that? Yeah. I'll make the motion. Okay. Change we the take the money out of the occupational fund rather than ARPA. Yes. Second. Okay. For... The country club pump. Yeah, the pump. Okay. Oh. That was the original question. Yeah. I had a motion on Okay. <laughs> it was on the table. Kind of, <laughs> kind of got, got sideways I there, got so I wanted to get my man. Right. <laughs> second. Is I thought second we had to agreed to buy that oh. pump a long time ago, or you all did. I don't even want to put it in. They don't pay taxes. <laughs> that just irritates me to take taxpayer money from Hartford to put it out when people don't want to come in city limits because their taxes would go up. Yeah. So we see. Don't to... don't wake me up on these things. <laughs> so you want to get a pump too, since you're into city limits? No, I don't want a pump, but I don't. I don't think we ought to buy them one. Let them buy it if they want to buy it. Pay to have it put in. We'll do it. The county's going to help us on the cost. Well, it's They've agreed to what twenty-four thousand, I think. Is that right? They've agreed to twenty-four thousand on that on their end. I just want to change the funding. Is all I want to do? Yeah. Okay. I'm on first. Huh? I second, right first. here. The second is Tony. 
Any more discussion? All in favor? Change, make Aye. one change. Okay, thank you. Opposed. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say? I said aye. Aye. She said aye. All in favor? Can't see my hand. Okay. <laughs> you got We're going to have to get you a red. You didn't even like to see my face. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel now? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about me coming back. I feel it. I was spinning the phone around and around. Okay. Um... I don't have anything else. That's all I've got. So, anybody have anything you want to bring up? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I was told today that uh, over here behind the water where Josh is, uh, they're supposed to start tearing that down in March. Okay. And I think we gave him a couple of months to get out. Yeah, that was last September. Well, that's the place going to call me, and, and I, I'm going to get Josh two weeks to get out. Okay. He said he can get out two weeks. Yeah, they said it would take a while to get the lights and the gas and everything taken. Yeah, so it would take him a couple yeah. of weeks to yeah. be ready to tear down. It was just mentioned to me. I'm yeah. Gonna... He's waiting for a little better weather, but it's yeah. not hard yeah. on his machines yeah. and things like that. Right. And we are losing one, one of my guys. Okay. Up. I've got one other thing. Uh, Dustin has come up with some possibilities for our sign. You got enough for everybody? No, but I got a few. Another one. Anyway, that's what it's going to look like. Do what now? Is that admittedly the one on the bottom is the most sensible? Uh, what I want, I think, you have something up there that has what's on that flag on it. It's a cabin. Yeah, yeah. It's actually the first courthouse. Okay, but, uh, but it's got, it's almost like a seal. It's got words around it. Like yeah, we've got an official, that. we've got an official seal. Right. What I'd like station. is to put that on that place. That's what the official seal. Yeah, but I'm talking about that. Yeah. The first courthouse and the the writing around it, uh, that would be where what is in that circle. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. On the bottom or the red. But I, I, I just I just got to get a hold of it. Uh, uh, Good that. Uh, there's a drop. Stacia, I sent you a picture. There's okay. A, Thank you. There's yes, a. Sir, uh, I thought I wondered if there was like a fan or a There's cord. There's a drawing there by Earl Russell. Russell. She's dead over there. I could make it. Okay. See, the whole, the, whole, the, the whole thing that I have to do with it is to make it really big, I would need to turn it into, not getting too technical, a, a, a vector graphic. See, the, all, everything you see on that paper, you can make it as big as this building and it's going to look just as good as it does. Right. It needs to be repainted. And so, That's good. I would have to. So we could I would have to make that cabin metal somehow, some way. So, so I need to get a good, a good image of it so I can trace it and make it work. And I got to have software to do it, so it needs to be pretty good. <laughs> but uh, uh, I can, I can hopefully work something up like that. The others, like like I said, uh, the others were just me messing around uh, with things that I already kind of had around and. All the bonds can be changed, and there, uh, anything on there can be changed, really. Uh, the smaller ones, I wondered, just in my head, because it's so wide, if you wanted to make room for, like if there was an event happening and you wanted to put a big poster on one side or leave an area for something that was happening that you wanted to promote. But, you know, that was just me kind of thinking out loud. But like I said, admittedly, that, that bottom one is, is the most sensible. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's clean and it's easy. Uh, and I wasn't also wasn't real sure the process or what you were going to have it made. You know, I, I've never, I don't know that I've ever had anything printed that big. So I don't know what the process would be. Uh, 
but I know they can print things big, so. Well, the fellow up in Litchfield said he could accommodate us with the uh, printing. I mean, the, uh, you know, the not painting it on, but yeah. the, the decal. The, oh, vinyl? The, the Who's there? The fellow up in Litchfield that we initially called. That I initially called. That's how I get up what he's talking about. I mean, that's how I get up. And this is going to be better than the sign we have now because you won't have to repaint it in a few years? Or? Yeah, it would be like a metal sign, I think. Huh? I think it would be like a metal sign, isn't that what you're kind of... We've got a metal yeah. sign. You're always going to have problems with rust and things like that. You. You know. oh, <laughs> I mean, this it's... Yeah, see, I need that. It's not painted now, you know. Like, it's, uh, I it's, uh, didn't they have like those old church bands like that? I call them decals. Like it's not fan? decals, but vinyl letters, huh? vinyl lettering. Charlotte. It's got something on it, you know. Uh, it's Jerry, not they make something now that on the front of that podium. It's that, that I use. It's, on, it's it? like a uh, do I? Isn't it that clear coat type paint? deal that protected in the weather? Marine, M A R I N E, oh. marine paint. <laughs> Don't they just normally the, use those for the outside things? The, just the, probably the, the uh, background. Oh, well. Well, what do y'all want to do? You want to change the sign, so. I mean, as soon as I can come up with that and come with that, uh, I, I think what I'd like to do is quite literally what, what is on that ring, shirt. Ring. You know, uh -huh. I mean, I think the home of 2,000 half people needs to be prominent anyway. But do that, and then the bicentennial, and maybe even see it just like that that's on the shirt. In but, the circle? But right here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, I mean, just the circle itself is probably going to be three feet. I mean, that's 10 feet wide. So, I mean, it'll be plenty big. Uh, it, I think it would have to be in where this is done in fall, and you've got so many little narrow lines. Yeah, that's the thing. The, the, but your the circle's got to you be big. Yeah, the picture that you, you, you had see. inside might be something better that I can work with. Let's you can maybe clean it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the thing about it is, when it's done, I mean, it's it. Uh, I never really thought about vinyl letters, but with vinyl, they could they could cut every every part of it out. They can do one piece of it. Yeah, a whole sheet. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully, because because that I, side I of can, the park is huge, and they do yeah. that in sections, and it still looks pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And and if you seal it, I mean, you know, they can with vinyl. All you gotta do is protect it. Yeah, and they got something now yeah, that you can, because past we had to redo it all the time and now they got something that protects it and it lasts a long time now. I remember back in back in the day, I mean this is a bunch of years ago, you could print vinyl as long as you wanted but only three feet tall. You know. So that would be more than enough probably the biggest part of that would be the seal and the letters. So you know, but either way, they, they'd be able to they'd be able to work it even if they had to print it all in pieces. So we don't want Kentucky on it anyway. <laughs> I thought about that too. I mean, you know, uh, the, the way the way I thought about it, if they don't know they're in Kentucky, they've been. <laughs> so they even don't know what Hartford is. <laughs> There's a lot of people that live here that don't know they're in Kentucky. And like I said, if I do the seal just like it is on, on that t-shirt, it would have City of Kentucky across the top of it. So there is that. It might fit Phoenix. <laughs> well, do you have a particular one that you want to pursue? Or, I like or, the bottom. I don't know. You won't get back. No. no. I can see it from here. Okay. No, I said I can see it. Are we voting on one of these tonight? Can't you see it? I mean, if you want to, I, I can. I can just go ahead and try to work up the seal. I was going to say, now that he's got that image in there, he can, see yeah. it, he can put that all together and give you a final version. 
Okay. And I can email it back to Lisa and she can send it out to you all and you can, you know. I can so why did you fill off the bottom of the stats testing? I missed part of that conversation. I just said it's the most sensible. I mean. <laughs> I'm sending you another picture. It's, okay. I was saying it's the one that's just the most sensible. The, the others I, I create, well, besides besides the that one there, the the second the second one from the bottom, just because these were just... Send her a picture of the sheet of the bottom. I did. These. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, the bottom two, like I said, are more sensible just because the, the top three were, you know, uh, sometimes whenever, whenever you're just like, hey, see what you can come up with, that's when you get the nuttiest. <laughs> Well, now, I like them all, really. I think the bottom two, though, are kind of similar. I mean, not super similar to what, we're had, what we have now, but not too far off either. I mean, if we want something unique and different, uh, I like the ones. But, so it would be this special that you sent, Tara, that would be in that circle there? Yeah. The four? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to tell him to go ahead and work on this bottom one? Family. <coughs> I'll make a motion we go with the bottom one. I'll second. Okay. With uh, the circle yeah, filled in. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any more discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. You motion that? carry. This is the first thing you've been in favor of today. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that's a losing battle, and I know how to pick the battles. <laughs> All right. Appreciate what you've done. They all look pretty good. So, um, anybody have anything you want to bring up? We heard any more about that uh, piece of equipment that couldn't get. Calibrated, measuring our sewer going out, or anything like that. Oh, the sewer monitor thing. Yeah, we're getting a report. Um, I mean, they're getting one. I'm not. Sure. I haven't talked to them about it. They've kind of put it on the back burner. Um, they're getting a report, and we're sending a report once a month down to regional wastewater of what we're measuring. But um, what we're measuring is not that much different from what they're measuring, you know, because we're just putting a lot in, uh, a lot into the sewer, through the sewer. Um, it's just a matter of tightening up the system, you know, still trying to work on that end of it. Well, the, the last time Josh was here, he said that, that Morris couldn't get it calibrated. Well, he's, he's come in and worked on it some. I don't know if he's still got it right or not. You know, I haven't talked to him about it. Um, we paid what? How much money for that darn thing? 14000 Oh, about forty. I think time we've 40? got it in. And boy, did I invest like that. Mm -hmm. And it still doesn't work. work. <laughs> yeah, but, it, you know, I, well, never mind. Uh, the electronic part of it, they were using the wrong units or something when it was initially set up. We understand it. But I'll talk to I'll talk to the people tomorrow and see where we are on it. Or you can call them and talk to them. It's your job. Okay. Anything else anybody have? I entertain a motion that we'd, well, we can't, we're going to go in closed session, aren't we? Yeah, I make a motion we go in closed session. Yeah. Yeah. I second it. Okay, all in favor? All right, motion carried. <coughs>